Well, when beekeeping becomes more than just a hobby, and I want to let my subscribers know that I'm getting too busy to make a bunch of videos. Um, I'll show you the status here. I currently have 93 colonies, 25 or 2019 queens, and 67 or 2020, and I have one 2018 queen left, I think, but she may be dead. We never know yet. But anyway, of 93, let's say by April or end of March, I have 75, and they're not all going to be the same size. The large colonies, I say, well, just... We'll just guess here, 25 large colonies, and I can get three mating nukes off of those, and 25 medium colonies, and get two mating nukes off of those, and then 25 small colonies, I'll just take one mating nuke off of that. And that's a total of 150 mating nukes. My gosh, that's a lot. And to say if I'm successful at 33% of the time, I get one-third of them, that's 50 new colonies I'd like to do by May. So I've got to be building stuff for these colonies I'm going to make and I just made a run to Home Depot. I took advantage of Home Depot has a, a deal right now. If you apply for a Home Depot card, you spend $300, you get you get $50 off. So I spent 350 on 2 by 12s. I got 20 of them, 10 foot long 2 by 12s. I can do 33 deep supers here. And then What's left over when I cut these down to 7 eighths, I like 7 eighths. What's left over, you see this here? I make these, uh, my insulated fillers. Here are my insulated fillers. I need to make more of these because if I'm going to have 150 mating nukes in April, end of April, early May, I need to make more of these. I've got enough to do around 100 or so. So i got to make more of those. And then... I'm also running out of running out of bottom boards, bottom screen boards and, and bottom boards. So after I cut down to two by twelve, I do like nine and three quarters. I do nine and three quarters and the other piece that's left over. This is gonna be my side piece for my uh bottom boards. So none of the lumber goes to waste. Even the small pieces I end up making frames with. And I'll show you those, those next. The smallest piece of wood that I end up with ends up being the medium frame end. So I've got, I've got lots of these over here and over here. These are all frame ends. And I've got frames made up. And here's all my mediums supers and my deeps uh, and they all have foundation in them and here's my reserve of uh, well that one's empty but there's some reserve honey here these i'm getting getting pretty low i've got eight frames of reserve honey well there's nothing on these well here's some on that Let's see hopefully i have enough to get through winter let me go out and show you what's the status of my bees right now. Today's January 5th. And like I say in all my other videos, I'm constantly checking the size of the colony. This colony here, I noticed the other day, or a few, a few weeks ago, but the other day I downsized them. They were all up in the honey super. So I've got them ready to the next time it gets really, really cold. And I'm worried about them chilling. I can bring them in. See, I'm constantly monitoring the size of the colony by using an LED flashlight looking in there and checking to make sure I know how big the colony is. If they're small and I'm worried about them being chilled at night, I bring them in. And these are the colonies that go in and out depending on the temperature of the weather. And I plug the holes because I don't want any suicide bees. The bees, a lot of times they want out because they want to die. And I don't want them to die. Like these right here. They're crazy. They want out. If I were to let them out, they all they would do is die. So there's no point letting me out. They can't do cleansing flights. I'll wait till it warms up. Then I'll let them out. 
And if they want to do just uh, do a clinic flight, fine. But if they want to die, then fine, go ahead and die. But I'm trying to hold off the dying until, until the queen uh, queen starts laying in February. I've noticed when the queen starts laying, it really calms the colony down, gives them something to do. But during the month of January, there's not much for them to do in the hive. And they act real crazy like they want out all the time. And we can't have that. We can't let them out because there's no point for them coming out. The same thing in here. You hear that? That's the bees they want out. I'm not going to let them out. And here's the small colonies in the windows. When they get really low, I, I keep a, checking them. Make sure they have enough bees to get restarted. If they get really low and I'm worried about them dying out, I will take and I will open up these colonies in here. With I'll take these fuses out. And I will let them come out up to the the glass in the doors there and I will gather them up. See, I'm getting a few out and they're coming out to die. It's about 50 degrees in here. It's not cold enough for them to die from the cold. They're just coming out to die. This is how I keep my colonies alive all winter long. The small ones, because I breed queens all summer long, the small ones end up either in the window and if I fill up the windows the smallest colonies, then I, I bring them in and out constantly on this deck. And if I have a colony, I had a few here that had a hard time for some reason, either from virosis, because you know, I used acetic acid five times during the fall. It's either virosis or uh, chemicals, toxic chemicals in the pollen. These colonies here, they shrunk down quite a bit during the fall, but I managed to stabilize them. I stopped the dying. So, but anyway, I'm getting really busy now. This is more than a hobby for me. Um... I keep making, I keep doubling my number of my colonies every year. And that extra honey goes to the new colonies every year. So I'm not selling honey yet. But when I get to the point where I can't keep doubling and I have more colonies producing honey, then I actually have new colonies. Then I'll start selling honey. But I'm not buying honeybees. All I'm doing is buying wood. Like this Home Depot thing, special. You spend over $300 and you get $50 off. Six months, no payments. And I'd have it paid off for six months anyway. So, okay. Thank you.